Turn up the music and get ready. Here we are Friday night, Port Huron against Port Huron Northern. Two huge rivals. No matter what the records are, it's always going to be a big game, but this stadium has not been packed. They're expecting 8,000 people here for the first time since 2019. And oh, by the way, they're playing for a conference title. Both teams undefeated in conference play. We spent time with the respective head coaches who had different perspectives on how just big this game is. Well, it's just another game as usual. That's all it is. Uh, you're playing football between the lines. Uh, the, all the stuff's for the community and for the kids, but at the end of the day, we're playing football. So just try to keep folks on the game at hand and uh, win a conference championship tonight. I mean, that's the big thing, right? When you yeah. try to win a conference championship, it doesn't matter who's in the way. No. When you set out the goals this season, how special did you know this team was going to be? Uh, we were kind of young, uh, and last year with the COVID season, we didn't really have a full up. season, so we weren't quite sure what was going to happen. Uh, so it was, it's kind of nice. We've been playing hard and learning from each other every game, and it happens to be that we're 6-0 and right now, and we're playing a crosstown rival, so that's going to be a good time tonight. As things have progressed and we're doing well, they're doing well, and because of what has happened, I don't even know what's going to wind up occurring tonight. It's just going to be a wild thing, and uh, it's going to be awesome. When you have these two rivals going against each other, it's always a big deal. I, how, how have you kept these guys focused on the task at hand this week? Well, you know, uh, it's a crazy situation, it really is, and uh, they dial in because of the because of the situation. So at least at practice, we've been very focused, and they've really turned up uh, the heat this week, and uh, uh, it's been a fantastic week of practice. Guys, I got here an hour and a half before kickoff. The student section was already packed. I parked down the street. This place is going to be in an insane environment tonight, one of the best high school football facilities we have in our state. We'll share what happens coming up tonight.